the much anticipated Realme 3 Pro is finally here and it brings with it some compelling specifications like the Snapdragon 710 SoC, great cameras, a huge 4045 mAh battery and to go along with that big battery is the Woog charging technology with up to 20 watt power delivery similar to dash charge found on the OnePlus devices. The obvious competitor to the Realme 3 Pro is the Redmi Note 7 Pro which also has a 4000 mAh battery and supports up to quick charge 4 but only comes with a 10 watt adapter in the box. We decided to compare the charging speeds of both devices using the Vook adapter that comes in the box with the Realme 3 Pro and a Quick Charge 3 adapter with the Redmi Note 7 Pro since Quick Charge 4 adapters are not widely available in India. Do note that both phones are completely drained and we will switch them on after plugging them in. Even though the Realme 3 Pro has support for Vook charging, it charges via a micro USB port which is slightly disappointing given that Xiaomi made the move to Type-C with the Redmi Note 7 Pro this year. Anyhow, let's get back to the test. Let's plug in both phones at the same time and power them on. Wow, there's already an ad. But wait, it's surprisingly not on MIUI. Anyhow, 5 minutes into the test, the Realme 3 Pro is on 7% while the Redmi Note 7 Pro is on 6%. Similar beginning for both phones. After 10 minutes, the Realme 3 Pro takes the lead and moves to 14% with the Redmi Note 7 Pro at 10%. 15 minutes later, the Realme 3 Pro maintains its lead and moves to 22% with the Note 7 Pro trailing at 15%. Half an hour later, the Realme 3 Pro has moved on to 42% while the Note 7 Pro is considerably behind at 28. The lead only increases at the 35 minutes and 40 second mark when the Realme 3 Pro hits 50% while the Note 7 Pro is still at 32. 45 minutes are up and the 3 Pro maintains its lead and is at 62% while the Note 7 Pro is still at 40. Looks like the 18W quick charge adapter doesn't stand a chance against the 20W Vook charger. Anyhow, an hour later, the Realme 3 Pro has gone up to 81% while the Note 7 Pro is still struggling at 54. A short while after completing an hour, the Realme 3 Pro has surpassed the 90% mark in 1 hour and 7 minutes and has started to trickle charge while the Note 7 Pro is still at 60%. At 1 hour and 20 minutes, the Realme 3 Pro is completely charged to 100% with the Note 7 Pro slowly making its way up at 73%. This has to be the fastest time taken by a mid-ranger to charge up a battery that is this big. Fun fact, charging the 3700mAh battery on the OnePlus 60 with dash charge takes longer than the Realme 3 Pro. Great job, Realme. Anyhow, we didn't want to bore you all, so we skipped right till the end where the Redmi Note 7 Pro took 2 hours and 18 minutes to fully charge, almost an entire hour more than the Realme 3 Pro, even with the QC 3.0 adapter. The Vook charger on the Realme 3 Pro not only helps charge the device fully in quick time, but is also very helpful in case you're in a hurry and need to top up your phone quickly as even charging for a short period can give you enough battery life since the capacity of the battery is high. However, this is just one aspect of comparing the two phones based on battery as the battery life in general seemed to be better on the Redmi Note 7 Pro compared to the Realme 3 Pro in our experience, but we'll have more to say about this in our full review, so watch out for that. We hope you enjoyed watching this comparison and if you wish to see more such videos, do let us know in the comment section below and we'll do our best to make it happen. Until next time, may the tech be with you.